Hello, welcome to Telcoma Technologies. So today we are going to start with a new course series that is about DVB-S2 that is Digital Video Broadcasting Standard 2. So here in this course we will discuss about the Digital Video Broadcasting Standards and we will start with the very basic standards and then learn about the higher version. So here in this course our very first chapter is about introduction to DVB that is Digital Video Broadcasting. So here in this chapter we will discuss about the DVB introduction, then we will discuss about the DVB project, then DVB standards and then the market profit. So let's start discussing about the very first that is what is DVB that is digital video broadcasting. So here the DVB-S is the original DVB standard for satellite television which enable digitally broadcast satellite deliver television to the public. So here it was developed be between 1993 to 1997 and here the first commercial application was launched by Galaxy in Australia. So here its function is to design and regulate the procedures used in the digital signal transmission of data and services. So here the DVB-S is used in both MCPC that is multiple channel per carrier and SCPC that is single channel per carrier mode for broadcast network feeds as well as for direct broadcast satellite services. So here the example of DVB is like Sky via Astra in Europe, Dish Network and Globecast in US and Bell TV in Canada. So here this is the satellite that is showing that is providing the DVB services to a worldwide network. So the next is the DVB project. So here the DVB project is an alliance of about 200 companies and originally it belongs to European origin but now it is accepted worldwide. So here its objective is to agree specification for digital media delivery system including the broadcasting. So here the DVB project is an open private sector initiative with an annual membership fees which is governed by the Memorandum of Understanding that is MOU. So here there are DVB standards. So there are two generation of DVB-S standards. The first one is DVB-S that is uh, developed from 1993 to 1997 and here it is defined by European standard EN300421 and here it describes the physical link characteristics and the framing and these two generation of DVB-S standards are standardized. Uh, the standard standardization was done by ETSI and the digital video broadcast project. The second is DVB-S2 and it was developed in 2003 and it defined by European standard EN302307 and here the standard was rectified in March 2005 and here it mainly designed to accommodate larger data rates to provide HDTV, internet access and the data distribution. The next is the difference between DVB-S and DVB-S2. So here the first difference is about the input interface. So here in DVB-S the input interface is single transport stream whereas in DVB-S2 the input interface is like multiple transport stream and generic stream encapsulation. And here in DVB-S the mode that is used is known as constant coding and modulation mode whereas in DVB-S2 there are two type of modes. The first one is variable coding and modulation and second one is the adaptive coding and modulation that is VCM and ACM. The next difference is about FEC that is forward error correction. So here in DVBS we are using Reed Solomon code uh, about 1 by 2, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 5 by 6 and 7 by 8. Whereas in DVBS 2 we are using LDPC that is low density parity check and VCH coding uh, that is about 1 by 4, 1 by 3, 2 by 5, 1 by 2, 3 by 5, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 5 by 6, 8 by 9 and 9 by 10. So these are the coding scheme that is used under forward error correction. The next is DVB-S modulation scheme. So here in DVB-S we are using single carrier QPSK that is quadrature phase shift king and whereas in DVB-S2 we are using single carrier QPSK with multiple stream. And here in DVB-S the modulation scheme used are like QPSK, 8PSK and 16 gram that is quadrature amplitude modulation. Whereas in DVB-S2 we are using QPSK, 8PSK, 16APSK that is amplitude phase shift king and 32 APSK. So these are the modulation schemes that are used in DVB-S standard and DVB-S2 standard. 
The next is the interleaving scheme. So here the DVBS uh, and DVBS2 are using bit interleaving scheme. And here in DVBS the pilot symbols are not used, whereas in DVBS2 the pilot symbols are used. And here MPEG technology. So here in DVBS it uses the MPEG2 video standard, whereas in uh, DVBS2 it uses the MPEG4 or advanced video coding video standard. The next is the market profit about DVBS. So here the US market profit is estimated at $40, 40 billion dollar according to IBIS world report. And here in 2006 it has an estimated 93,96,000 users at roughly $40 a month plus with the initial cost of $80 for dish and $200 for the receiver. So here this add up to about $375 million per month. So this is the profit that is provided by DVB standard to the operator. So this is all about the introduction to DVB that is digital video broadcasting. Thank you.